Hello, it's June. I'm in the kitchen garden, so I'm just going to jump straight into showing you what's been going on. Let's let the cat back in first, though. <laughs> right, so I am going to start at the back. This is our my bird cage. Now this is wild stuff that's growing, um, and I've kind of been like trimming it, trimming it, and keep it in because I like how it looks. The black-eyed susans have started to sprout. You can see, and the strawberries are going great guns. Start to get some strawberry flowers coming through. Uh, have some. I think this is, what's this? This is a uh, rocket that's in here. I've found that this is like my favourite method for, oh that's good, my favourite method for growing stuff like this. I've got some more over here, another mizuna. Because this is the first lot I planted, has gone to flower, it's bolted, but I really like these flowers, I love the scent of them. Um, so I've left it, which is cool. I've been doing some repotting so everything's a bit chaotic. I brought the roses from the allotment and planted them here. This is my uh, rose that I got after my grandmother passed away and that's my anniversary rose there. Um, I've moved them over here to try just to put them in the ground um, because I wanted to take them out of the pot. And I didn't really want to plant them at the allotment so I brought them here and put them here few bits and pieces in this. Slowly working my way through. These are aubergines. Something's been having a munch on my aubergines. So these are aubergine jewel jet. I need to separate them out. Uh, some extra tomatoes and stuff here. Some extra cucumbers and things. These I've got to put them all in bigger pots. That's my job before I go away is to repot everything. Lavender. Hello bee. So we've got some lavender, the, uh, lemon verbena, some spearmint, this is new. I took this down off the thing so that I could deadhead it so it would have new flowers. Our cucumber varieties, these are burpless cucumbers. Um, I bought this variety because they can grow outside. They don't need a polytunnel to grow in and they don't need to grow in a greenhouse. That up so that we can get out. It's open. Uh, what's this here? This is a fuchsia. It started to flower. I do love fuchsias. My uh, great aunt Veronica, my aunt Ron, had fuchsias in her garden so they remind me of her. She passed away a few years ago so I've got those. My everlasting sweet pea has regrown. I thought that the George had completely annihilated this because he chewed it right to the ground but it has survived and come through. I've uh, got some more. Some lovage. Some mint. This is Moroccan mint. That makes a really nice tea. I think this is hyssop. Yep, so we've got hyssop. This is my little thing that I made. I think this is hyssop as well. So look, yeah, that's hyssop as well. Um, I wasn't expecting uh, these nasturtiums to grow quite as big. I thought they were a different variety than they actually are, so I'm going to repot that hyssop into another pot at some point, but it's okay at the moment. It's enjoying the shade. Parsley. I cut that back and it's come through again. Geranium. Some sage. This is new. Purple sage. This is a little mix of things growing here. There's French marigold. I think these are some sweet peas that are snuck in. Which is fine. This is... These are carrots. There. Um, they're growing really well. I'm going to start thinning them out soon. Hello. There's bees following me. This is time. Uh, these are mixed climbers in this one and some marigolds I think. So I've got mixed climbers and marigolds. More parsley, curly parsley. This is 
French marigold. Again, some sweet peas that have kind of snuck in there. I don't know how that's happened. Catmint. This is the one that I planted that's growing. Some chive. This is a catmint that I bought. With some bulbs there. That's the cat grass. More lavender. More thyme. I think this is poppies in there. Oh, that one is not past, it's coriander. Hello, Penny. I'll show you what's in there. Open this up because it's a bit warm this morning. So these are all extra seedlings that I'm doing. Um, I've had a few casualties to slugs. So, but I figured with the way that everything, the seasons are going, I can kind of get away with planting stuff a little late that I haven't planted. So uh, this is my third attempt at the asparagus pea because I planted some in there and one of the neighbours cats has dug it all up. Not my cat, I'd be less annoyed if my cat had done it. But, um, so these are some beetroot and I've planted them in clusters and I'm going to pull them out and replant them in the clusters to try and, um, I, I can't remember, I, I saw somebody else do it with radishes and beetroots and they, they all grow in a big clump um, which makes harvesting easier because you don't disturb the roots of the, of the ones when you're pulling others out so give that a go if it doesn't work it doesn't work if it does then fantastic so I've got some other bits and pieces these are melons um, and I've just prepped the polytunnel for them and I'll show you that um, in my allotment video some other bits and pieces uh, some more courgettes because I lost the courgettes to the slugs uh, there's some celery there which is gonna go out soon as uh, peas some more little cucumbers. This is mint from the allotment that I've propagated. I think that is chocolate mint and something else. I think blackcurrant mint. Um, some flowers, more melon. Uh, I've put some more squash because I've lost some squash as well, but I'll show you that later. Uh, some cucumelon, which is here. Some cucumber. Some various bits and pieces. I think there's like a single solitary pepper around here somewhere as well. And where that is, I'll find that one. One pepper. Uh, some broccoli, cauliflower. Um, I've got to prep the bed at the allotment. I figured I would do these when I come back. Um, there's Deet's rose, her Christmas rose um, that I replanted in here because um, it died and. It seems to be coming back to life, which is lovely. So um, this is a birthless cucumber and a tele telepathy one. The, here's some cucumelon. I'm going to move those up to the allotment, I think. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have some here, which I'm going to do inside this greenhouse. And then I'm going to take the rest and take them up to the allotment. Basil seems to be coming back to life. That is the Queen of Siam basil and this is some more aubergine that I've repotted got a bit warm yesterday um, it was unexpectedly warm yesterday so but everything seems to be okay there's various uh, extra squash this is one uh, another aubergine another squash is that squash oh that's ornamental gourd that's my ornamental one there's another ornamental one and they're there so that's that. I'm going to leave this open because it's getting a bit warm. Oh, not the rake over. Penny's doing her patrols. So these are poppy, I think. Oh no, that's fennel. So I'm growing fennel because we keep uh, a meat eating pet outside, which is the ferrets. Um, sometimes you do get a problem with flies. So we're doing. I'm doing everything that I can to keep that down. So I. They're scrupulously cleaned. Um, try and you know, I give them enough food that they eat it quickly. But you, you're you're going to get flies, so we have a couple of remedies for that. The fennel, which is supposed to um, dissuade them. I also have a little fly catcher thing there and one there, and they are incredibly effective. We do get a few little stragglers, but mostly it's under control, and it's like one or two, so. I don't really mind. So we've got fennel here, we've got some chocolate mint which makes a really really nice tea. Um, I'm currently obsessed with trying to find as many varieties of mint that I can. 
um, and sage. I bought some new sages as well. Um, I'm hoping when I go to the island I can find some new other varieties as well. So I've got blackcurrant sage here and um, I picked these up from Gordale Garden Centre. This smells like blackcurrant juice, it's amazing. And I've got this one as well which is a uh, pineapple sage and that smells like pineapple juice and that's amazing, it smells so good. And we've got some other things growing along here. This one, <sighs> this is carrot. Yep, that's a volcano carrot. They need thing it, thing it, thinning out. This is just some flowers that I've put in. This is poppy, the kiwi plant. Still going strong. Everything needs a little feed, but I will do that before I go. Strawberries. The strawberries in there. I'll go back this way, I'll show you the big stuff. So, carrots. This is a cucumber that I picked up. Um, sometimes I will, I do like to grow a lot of things from seed, but things like herbs. And sometimes if I see a variety of something where I don't want to grow a lot of them, but I wouldn't mind growing like one plant, I'll buy that. So I bought this cucumber crystal lemon as a plant and I've potted it up. And this is apparently a variety that will grow outside in a sunny sheltered spot, which is kind of this spot. Um, just to see what they're like and if I like them and if they grow well here I will buy the seeds next year and grow them. So we've got more, these are carrots, these are carrots, yep these are golden nugget carrots, some rosemary, some more fennel, some ferrets, where are you? Here you are, here you are, good old <laughs> Go and eat your breakfast. Go on. So these pots have got some flowers in. They've also got some marsh too in there. Some more sunflowers. Uh, this is marsh too and some nasturtiums. Uh, this is the peas that I bought and sunflowers. And this is the goji berry. There. Everything's growing quite well. It's quite happy. These are like the, I think these are the only, sun, I, I did quite a few varieties of sunflowers. These are the only ones that have grown, but I don't really mind. And I've done them in clumps because I saw where they grow wild. There's a place in America they grow wild and they're growing great big clumps and they're like self supporting. So that's how I decided to do them. Rather than do them individually, I put like few together so that they'll all grow up together and I quite like cramped planting as you can probably see from everything so um, everything's kind of growing along here I need to do some weeding before I go lettuce growing really well so in the end there's carrots and there's sweet peas and there's lettuce these are marigolds some more lettuce um, something's been having a nibble I think it's a caterpillars, but everything's kind of, um, that's a little, I don't really mind, I don't mind too much, so, um, this is the, I think it's pak choy, or is it, hang on, come back sooner, let's come back sooner, this is growing along here, um, I've been cutting bits of it and eating, putting it in stir fries and then it grows back and puts. This is because um, it was butterfly season but the butterflies are all, caterpillars are all butterflies now so I won't have that problem. Some mixed contrast lettuce, this you can see I come out and I cut, just cut the top, I don't pull it out. So I cut the top and it just keeps growing. Along here is all radishes and spinach. So the spinach is kind of growing up like this through the radishes. There's a lot of leaf. These aren't ready to pull yet though. They're giving me a lot of leaf, but not a lot of... I really love this, where, how it grows like this. This is red spinach. And where it grows with all the little tiny leaves, I really like that in stir fry. It's delicious. So I don't really mind that they're growing quite small and 
like cute and stuff because it's tasty. I like it. So I'm gonna go around right around this way. Back around this way. And you enjoy the sun. So this is mixed spicy. Salad, spicy salad. This is delicious. That is a weed if it shouldn't be there. We've got some sweet peas there. Some um so we've got contrast and mixed spicy just in rows there. These are wildflowers that I pulled from when we did the front. These are actually from our driveway. <laughs> pulled that out the driveway. Pulled that out the driveway and propagated it because my mum wants some for the front. So that's what I've done. This is a wild one as well. And um, what I'll do is I will trim that and put it in the polytunnel and next year that will grow quite healthy. So some salad here, some rocket, some spring onions that are growing through here. So that's cool. I need to deweed this bed. I need to deweed everything really. Um because the weather's the weather's been really rainy and I've had like pressure headaches, I haven't been able to get out and weed. But I shall do that over the next couple of days. So we've got some more rosemary, another cucumber, this is a tele telepathy, some bulbs growing, uh, this is a lemon balm, this is apple mint. I've moved them because they were all down the front and I needed a bit of space so I've started putting stuff here. We're having her breakfast. She's actually eating the chicken's breakfast, not her breakfast. So these are starts to grow. Trees and everything. These had some beautiful pink flowers. Um, they've all gone now. I've moved this up here so the cat can't get to it. These guys. We had a bit of a, a trauma with the doves. I now only have two doves left. Um, something picked off the other three. We don't know what, we have re-secured re everything. Um, I'm a bit mad. Well, I'm a bit sad about it, but hey, Freddy. Rabbits are still losing my old boys. I'm doing all right, aren't you? So some more wildflowers that we pulled out the driveway that I'm rerouting and propagating. They're doing okay. So these are tomatoes here. Now here was where I planted um, the asparagus pea and the cat dug them all, which really annoyed me, and the broccoli as well, but the kalettes are doing okay, so I've got, this is the mint that was here um, in the garden anyway, it was all over the garden and it is popping up everywhere, which I don't really mind because I just cut chunks of it, give it to the rabbits or I put it in tea, so I just go through and I cut through, cut them. Nasturtiums, kalettes growing across here, sweet peas, these are uh, sprouts growing there, so they're going to grow up this bit. I have some things to put in that gap, so I'm not really that bothered. I moved my wisteria um, because I saw um, a really cute, somebody had done it over an archway, so I decided that's what I'd like to do with that. Uh, these are, I say again, the mint. These are the flowers that I planted here. This is the Amelia Irish Poet and some other things that I put in there. Some more sweet peas. Some more mint. This is carrots. Some salad stuff. The gates need fixing. And that's pretty much it. And you miss us. So yeah, everything is growing, there's lots of life. Um, I've already started eating stuff out the garden. I will come out and I will cut um, the mint and put it in hot water and I drink that in the morning uh, and in the evening. And that's really helped with, um, I've had some stomach upsets, that's really helped with some bloating because I've, I've recently discovered that I'm um, intolerant to dairy so <laughs> that's really been helping with that um, yeah so everything's green everything's growing everything's lush and lovely I've started eating salad out the garden I'm gonna start thinning the carrots soon 
um, and it's great. The other day I was out here, I was sat in the living room and I looked out and there was hundreds of tiny little birds everywhere which was kind of magical. Uh, and yeah, so that's it. It's the kitchen garden. I'm going to head over to the allotments and show you what's going on there.